So today, Shared Education of Lurgan is on tour. We have left County Armagh and come all the way up to a very cold northwest here. I'm standing in the walls of the city of Derry Stroke, Londonderry. But today we're using GIS, not with the geographers, but with the historians. And we're taking them to many of those locations that have been very iconic in the history of our country. And we've taken them to those locations so that they can understand them better. Um, but we've also been looking for opportunities so that they can understand each other's views of these locations as we visit them. Whenever they were doing all of these murals depicting things from the sky. A bird, which is a dove, a symbol of peace. And last year I became involved in a project using GIS similar as a shared education project with two schools in Lurgan, uh, St Ronan's and Lurgan College and they used GIS and Survey123 um, just to map how they felt at um, different locations around the town similar to what we've done here today. God rest his soul while he's dead, and one of them was a Republican. They did cross-community work using art as healing. They were the first people I ever knew that worked with people from the other side. My first impressions of the bog side were things I've heard about it. It quite surprised me. It's not as extreme as the things that I was uh, thinking. I think the murals of trying to tell that even though the history was rough and we've had a rough past, everyone's brought together now and we're all trying to be equal. The murals, there were a few that made me quite uncomfortable as I seen one about uh, this man who was like, kind of uh, carrying a gun or something. I, thought, I felt quite intimidated. I thought like seeing it, it was quite like emotional hearing the stories what they were saying about the memorials. Like it actually happened, it actually sets in your head, like instead of just reading it all the time, like actually seeing it makes you realise what happened. So when the apprentice boys closed the gates in the face of James II, they were closing the gates at Derry. In the houses there might have been one dress that could have been worn by maybe four women in that house. Uh, yes, this is my first time in the walls of Derry. Yeah, me too. Me too. It's nice to see like the two points of view of like what it would have been like back then, and how like both sides would have had to react to the situations that had happened, and how opinions vary. Very yeah, to what and like in ways that we came together even back then, and how we're still coming together now. I've been to Derry before on a third education trip last year. It's different using GIS because we don't just have to walk around and listen to things. We can give our opinion on what we think other people's opinions would be. And then afterwards we can look back on it and explore why people thought this. In geography, using the GIS mapping skills, it makes us be able to understand geography and rivers and etc. better, but in history it helps us understand people and their feelings. Well, using this technology gives them the opportunity not only to record their perceptions, but they get to see other people's perceptions, other pupils from the other side of the community. So, for example, today we got all the pupils individually to carry out the survey, but when we got back after we had um, completed the tour around Derry, we were able to put up on the, on the map how um, pupils from different schools felt and they were able to actually see on a map that pupils from the other um, communities in many cases felt similar to them. So it, it actually gave them the opportunity to see that in most cases they're more similar than what they previously thought they were. So it was a really good opportunity for them. The young people are discovering through using technology like this that there are more similarities than there are differences. But this is something that they discover themselves because they're able to fill in truthfully and honestly how they feel. And that's the beauty of what this technology captures.